Discover the $2 billion Mole Medical and Technology City. Kenya is constructing a $2 billion Mole Medical and Technology City to address the country's healthcare shortage and to serve as a hub for medical research and innovation. The project's goal is to build a world-class medical complex that will attract both local and international patients, as well as medical professionals, while also creating jobs and economic growth in the region. Furthermore, the Medical Technology City will encourage the advancement of medical technology and telemedicine, which will improve healthcare delivery in Kenya and the surrounding region. Hello there, welcome to our channel. Stay with us and learn about the $2 billion Mole Medical and Technology City. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe before we continue. Tell us in the comments section what you think of this project. Medical tourism is one of the world's fastest growing industries today. Medical tourism is the act of traveling to another country for medical treatment. This can range from cosmetic surgery to life-saving surgery. People frequently choose to travel for medical care to locations that provide lower cost, higher quality health care than they would receive at home. With rising medical costs and the availability of quality health care in other countries, an increasing number of Africans are opting to travel to neighboring countries for their medical needs compared to just a few years ago. According to Numbio, Kenya has the best health care services in Africa, trailing only South Africa. Kenya, through its leading investor, Julius Mora, is constructing a $2 billion medical city in order to strengthen its position as an African medical hub. After a team of technology and healthcare experts and companies from the United States completed feasibility studies, construction of the Mora Medical and Technology City began in 2014. The medical city is located in Kakamega County, about 378 kilometers, 235 miles, from Nairobi, Kenya's capital city. The Plaza District is one of the medical city's five economic centers. The sprawling multi-million dollar shopping complex is home to an international standard supermarket serving a wide variety of organic produce, a must-try Hamptons cafe bed and breakfast, over 30,480 square meters of private residential homes, and the Hamptons Hospital. The hospital has 5,000 beds and the capacity to serve 12,000 patients per day. It also has an advanced center for cancer treatment and cardiovascular diseases, as well as state-of-the-art equipment operated by top healthcare professionals from around the world. Feasibility study cost 400 million shillings, and it lasted five years. After the study, construction began in 2014. The district's technology park, located within the plaza, catalyzes the development of advanced healthcare technologies such as nanobots, which can monitor and regulate blood sugar levels in diabetic patients, mobile and communication technologies that can be applied in areas such as telemedicine, and advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence, which can reduce human error. The city operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with its own dedicated power source. There are no power outages in the city. The city's airport district includes the world's largest convention center, a 35-acre Disney-style water park, and a private international airport, all of which are linked to the 5,000-bed Hamptons Hospital via cable car along a breathtaking route that offers views of the last remaining tropical rainforest in East Africa, as well as Mount Elgin, Kenya's second-highest peak. The impact and potential of medical tourism in Africa is enormous, with the billion-dollar industry expected to expand further as the continent's middle and upper classes grow. The Grid District, which includes the residences along the boulevard, is the city's third district. It extends three kilometers from 1st Street to 12th Street, forming a grid-like system along the boulevard. Healthcare travel, a sector closely related to travel and tourism wellness and information, has evolved in recent years to include well-being enhancement and leisure as patients require time to recuperate and recover. The evolution has compelled destination marketers to reconsider the reason for healthcare travelers' visits to a destination.
More medical and technology city includes a golf district and luxurious homes to provide patients and their associates with a luxurious experience. The golf district is home to a 36-hole Hamptons Championship golf course, Africa's largest, as well as homes. The district is home to 4,800 doctors, nurses, and other city residents. A 150-kilometer network of roads, the majority of which are tarmacked, is being built in the city with a connected system of designated bicycle and pedestrian paths that crisscross the city, allowing for a safe, pollution-free, and healthy alternative to motor vehicle transportation. Last but not the least, the industrial district, the city's fifth district, is home to a 144 megawatt waste of energy power plant that converts all hospital and municipal solid waste into clean renewable energy, as well as rental spaces for multinational corporations. To convert solid waste into clean energy, the city's power supply company employs an advanced and proven technology known as air-fed gasification. IFG works by heating waste to generate gas, which spins turbines to generate clean, dependable electricity. Air-fed gasification is the world's cleanest waste management solution, ensuring that the environment is preserved for future generations. A Miami-based company has invested approximately 40 million U.S. dollars in the construction of a green eco-panels manufacturing plant for 4,800 homes, while an Atlanta-based company has invested approximately 100 million U.S. dollars in the construction of a 30-megawatt solar power plant right in the city to complement the city's other renewable energy solutions. There is also a private bar and restaurant, a spa, pool, tennis court, and fitness center in the city. The medical and technology city has already had a significant impact on the local economy, raising land values in Kakamega County from $1,500 per acre in 2014 to $30,000 per acre in 2021, catapulting community members into the middle class. The $2 billion Mwale Medical and Technology City project is expected to create over 20,000 jobs, including 9,000 for healthcare workers in the hospital, with the local community benefiting from its services for free through the Kakamega County Healthcare Referral Program. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Please tell us in the comment section what you think. Will this technology city benefit Kenya and Africa or not? Remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more developmental and innovative videos. And also turn on your notification bell so as to get alerts of newly released videos.